This video is called Dusting Off SketchUp's Drafting Tools, and it's about some of the tools uh, that you can use in SketchUp to draw things like um, floor plants in a two-dimensional view. Now, it's the second video in Chapter 4 of Google SketchUp for Dummies. Okay, let's start with the line tool. The line tool looks like a pencil, and it works like this. If I basically just draw some edges here, all I'm doing is clicking a whole bunch of times. When I click at the end of the first edge that I drew, I end up with a face. It's pretty simple, really. Let's go ahead and grab the Select tool, select everything, and delete that away. Let's say I just wanted to make a simple rectangle. What I'm going to do is start drawing an edge, and then I want to draw a parallel to this red axis. So I'm going to make sure that I'm drawing in the red direction, and then I'm going to come down in the green. Let's go back over in the red, click, and back up here, just like that. Now, if you need more information about the line tool, you can uh, read about it all in Chapter 2, if you like. There's a lot more information there. Okay, the thing to keep in mind about the line tool is not to use it this way. Watch. What I want to do is click, 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 just like that. But I'm not clicking on anything when I'm not actually clicking, so I'm not holding down my mouse. A mistake a lot of people make is they go click and hold down the mouse, and then they're, what they're doing right now, I'm sort of gritting my teeth um, and dragging on this mouse with my finger on the button to draw that line. I'm going to let go, and then I'm going to click and drag and let go here. And that, you know, it, it works, but actually it causes a lot of inaccuracy because it's harder to let go accurately of the mouse button than it is to just very simply click, 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 like that. Okay, I hope that makes some sense. Next tool I'd like to talk about is, oops, did you see what I did there? Let's explain that. When I was drawing over here, you see how my line is sort of stuck to the end of my pencil there? If I want to get rid of that line without changing tools, I'm just going to go up and hit the escape key on my keyboard. Just like that. When I hit escape, it kind of snips the line the last place I clicked. Okay, the next tool I want to talk about is the eraser tool. If I go on it up here, I'm just going to click on that. And there's two basic ways I can use erase. I can click on edges that I want to erase, click, click, just like that, or I can click down and drag over a bunch of different edges to erase all of them, just like that. So watch, click, drag, so just kind of select all of them with the eraser, and then I let up on the thing, and I've erased that whole thing, just like that. Nothing much to the eraser tool. Click or drag, it works both ways. Let's talk about circles. This is the circle tool. Uh, it's pretty simple. I click to define the center, and then I click to define somewhere on the perimeter. Pretty simple, like just like I said. Let's practice the eraser tool. Erase, erase that circle, just like that. The arc tool works like this. I click once to define one end of the arc. I click again to define the other end of the arc. And I click a third time to define what's called the bulge. Notice it says bulge down here. The bulge isn't the radius. It's sort of the, the length of the little green line that's right underneath my pencil right now. It's uh, the amount that the arc sticks out. The little tool tip that you need to know about probably is if you kind of move this, eventually you'll hit this little thing that says half circle. And that's handy because a lot of the time you kind of do want to make half circles. So when you see that little half circle tool tip, click and you'll have a half circle. And uh, you know the world will be a better place. Okay, so I've got an arc. We covered circles. What I'm going to talk about now is the offset tool. Before I'm going to do that, I'm going to take the eraser and just erase out this edge like that. And let's go up and get the offset tool. Now, offset looks like a couple little concentric rings uh, with a little red arrow in it. It's right here. And the way that it works is I can click on a face in my model. And when I click and then move my mouse around, I end up with a bunch of edges that are concentric. If it's possible to make concentric edges without having a circle, then these are concentric. Basically, they, uh, they match inside or outside the edges that bound the shape that I clicked on. Okay, so I'm going to click there. And what I've got now, if I go up and get the Select tool, is one face here and a face there. So I was able to create another face at an equal distance inside the first face just by using the Offset tool. Okay. Let's say that I wanted to offset not all four edges, but just these three edges. One, two, and three, right there. I'm going to go up, I'm going to select those first, then I'm going to get the Offset tool, and I'm going to offset those three edges away. Now. The cool thing there is that I didn't end up offsetting all four, right? I just offset those three that I selected. So you can use offset on 
faces and you'll do the entire perimeter of the face or you can use it just on pre-selections of edges. What I'm going to do here is just kind of finish these two edges off with the line tool just like that. And when I do that I end up with a nice little um, I guess I've got sort of a little half round window or something like that. Maybe it's a door. I don't know. It doesn't really matter. One thing I might want to do is measure it. So that brings us to the last tool in this section. That's the tape measure tool. It's right up here next to the paint bucket between the paint bucket and the eraser. Looks like a tape measure. Click on that. And the key here is to watch this little VCB area down here in the lower right of your screen where it says length. Watch. I'm going to click and then click over here and it's going to say that was 15 feet and half an inch. Or I could say let's measure from there to there. That's 21 feet nine and a quarter inches. Now that's a really simple use of the tape measure tool just to measure things. The other thing that the tape measure tool does is create guides. And guides are basically pieces of construction geometry that you can use when you're modeling. And we're going to get into that later. For more information about all of this, just go and look at chapter two of Google SketchUp for Dummies. It talks all about it. Let's create a guide. Click and bring it out. If I want to make a guide that's parallel to this edge that I'm on, click and bring it out, just like that. And you can type in distances and all kinds of stuff, but that's a, a brief introduction to how that works.